You know women. So, you have any kids? No. No to you? No, that's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> Indeed. No kids, huh? Not yet. Well, people do have kids. You know, I mean, that's what I meant by history. Although, you, you people are going to be making them in test tubes, aren't you? <laughs> you biologists, babies. I mean, what's going to become of the tax deduction? Has anyone figured that out? <laughs> but you will have kids anyway, in spite of history, I'm sure. Sure. And okay. this, this is your heart's content. I like it here fine. I, I hope we'll stay here for a while, maybe not forever. But... Oh, no, I wouldn't let that get bad either. No, the old man wouldn't like that at all. No. Martha's father expects his uh, staff to have uh, loyalty and devotion. I was going to use another word. No, Martha's father expects his staff to cling to the walls of the place like the ivy. Come here to grow old and fall in the line of service. So, how many kids you gonna have? Look, I, I don't know. My wife is slim hit. <laughs> have a drink. Yes. Martha! Damn it! You know, you asked me if I knew women. Well, I can tell you that one of the things I don't know about women is what they talk about while the men are talking. I really need to find out about that. What do you want? <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful sound? <laughs> no, I mean, really, what do they talk about? Or don't you care? Themselves, I would imagine. What? You find women puzzling? Oh, yes. Uh, I and no. Uh -huh. Oh, well, here's one of you at least. I shall be right down. You must see this house, dear. It's such a wonderful old house. Martha! Right down. She's changing. She's what? She's changing? Yes. Her clothes. Her dress. Why? Why, I imagine she wants to be comfortable. Oh, she does, does she? Well, heavens, I should think. Well, you don't know. Honey, you uh, look a little, uh, so she wants well, to be you come all right? Uh, we'll see about that. perfectly fine. I didn't know until just a minute ago that you had a son. What? A son I hadn't known. Well, for you to know and me to find out. <laughs> he must be quite a big boy. Twenty-one. He'll be twenty-one tomorrow. Tomorrow's his birthday. Well, she, she told you about him. Well, yes. Well, I mean... Uh... No, she, she told you about him. Yes. You say she's changing. Yes. She mentioned... Your son's birthday, yes. Okay, Martha. Okay. Honey, you do look a little pale. Can I offer you something? Uh, some more brandy, maybe, just a drop. Um, may I use well, your... Uh, oh, yeah, your sure. Water? By all means, drink away. You're going to need it as the years go by. <laughs> God damn. Just... Oh, what time is it, dear? 2.30. Oh, it is late. We should be getting home. Oh, for what? You keeping the babysitter up or something? I, I told you we don't have any children. No, did you? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't listening or thinking, whichever one applies. <laughs> okay. Honey, here you are. We'll go in just a little while. Oh, no, 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 no. You mustn't go. No, no, no. Martha's changing. Martha doesn't change for me. Martha hasn't changed for me in years. <laughs> no, if Martha's changing, we're going to be here for days. <laughs>
almost 17 oh. really. Honey, why oh. did you tell her that? I'm proud of you. That's very impressive. You're damn right. I said it was impressive, Martha. You're sitting over here jealous as hell. I mean, what do you want me to do? Throw up. That really is very impressive. I have no doubt that you will take over the history department one of these days. The biology department. Oh, yes, the biology department, of course. I'm sorry. I, I seem to be preoccupied with history. That's a remark for you, huh? I'm preoccupied with history. Where's my drink? George is not preoccupied with history. George is preoccupied with the history department. George is preoccupied with the history department. Because George is not the history department. George is merely in the history department. Yes, we know. We've been through all that, Martha, while you were upstairs cleaning up. No need to go through it all again. That's right, baby. Keep it clean. George is bogged down in the history department. He's an old bog in the history department. That's what George is. A bog, a fen, a GD swamp. <laughs> A swamp. Hey, swamp. Hey, swampy. Yes, Martha, can I get you something? Oh, uh, well, sure. You can light my cigarette if you're of a mind, too. No, Martha, no. There are limits. You know, I will uh, I'll hold your hand when it's dark and you're afraid of the boogeyman. And I will put your gin bottles out after midnight so uh. no one else will see you. But I will not light your cigarette. And that, as they say, is that. Jesus. Hey, you played football, huh? Yes, I did. I, I was the quarterback, but I was really much more adept at boxing, really. Boxing? You hear that, George? Yes, Martha. <laughs> you must have been pretty good at it. I mean, you don't look like you got hit in the face at all. <laughs> he was intercollegiate state light heavyweight champion. I mean, that's enough. Well, you were. <laughs> you look like you still got a pretty good body oh, now. Oh, oh good Martha, decency you? forbids. <laughs> Shut up. Well, have you? Have you kept your body? Oh, yes, he has a very firm body. It's still pretty good. I, I guess I, I work out. Do you? I've always said, you know, once you got it. I think that's very nice. <laughs> hmm, yeah. You gotta give it up when you have, before you have to, right? Yeah. Why, give it up before you have to. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. I could not agree with you more. <laughs> would, you, would you like to take a walk around the garden? Oh, no. Punchy over there is too happy when the conversation All moves right. to muscle. <laughs> hey, George, <laughs> tell them about the boxing match we had. Oh, Christ. Tell them about it, George. <laughs> tell them you're, you're good at it. Uh, is he all right? Oh, yeah? Sure. George and I had this boxing match, oh, Lord, a couple years after we were married. Really? A boxing match? The two of you? Really? Really, the two of us. Uh, I can't imagine it. Well, like I say, it was many years ago. And it wasn't in a ring or anything like that, you know what I mean? It was wartime, and Daddy got the idea that all the men should learn how to box. Self-defense. I suppose the idea was if the Germans ever landed on the coast, the whole faculty would go out and punch them. <laughs> I'm sure it was really the principle of the idea, really. No kidding. <laughs> so anyway, Daddy had a couple of us over one Sunday, and we were out in the back, and Daddy put on the gloves himself. Daddy's a strong man, well, you know. And he asked George to box with him, and George didn't want to. And Daddy was saying, come on, young man, what sort of a son-in-law are you? Stuff like that. So while this was going on, I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I got into a pair of gloves myself. Just kidding. You know, I didn't lace them up or anything. And I snuck up behind George, just kidding, and I yelled, hey, George! And at the same time, I let go sort of a roundhouse right. Just kidding, you know. And George wheeled around real quick. And he caught it right in the jaw. Pow! <laughs> I hadn't meant it, honestly. But pow! Right in the jaw. And he was off balance. He must have been. Because he stumbled back a few steps and then crash! He landed flat in a huckleberry bush. <laughs> it was funny. It was awful, but it was funny. I think it's colored our whole life. <laughs> and it was an accident. A real goddamn accident. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> give me a kiss. Well, now I might. Fat chance. Where's the John? 